there were some shockers no bot told us i had a question on my mind who should we interview on our podcast for ai basics who are the top ai companies right now who are their ceos but this wasn't just about content creation i wanted to understand the research capabilities of these ai tools and what does it take to find the top companies in india exploding the ai ecosystem what was my research method i used five research assistants the best of the best chat gpt claude perplexity gemini and grok i asked them to research the same question to all five of them tell me the top 5 large ai companies in india and now tell me the top 5 ai startups in india and guess what every bot gave us different results some focused on funding some gave me big it name some pulled out hidden gems so i had to figure out a way to cut through the noise only include companies that showed up in three or more bot lists that gave us eight names not perfect but a strong consensus yes drum rolls please and we used chat gpt to help us create the table here are the top 8 companies on our india ai watch list there are four large companies and there are four startups the four large companies are infosys wipro tech mahindra and hcl technologies the four startups are servam ai Niramai, Haptic, and Arya AI. There were some shockers for us. Even Krutem and Servum, two of India's most ambitious AI startups, were not mentioned by every bot. That tells you how uneven bot intelligence is. Hmm. Does something else stand out to you? Yes. There are many missing big names. We don't see Fractal and many others. This again reminds us: number one, that domain knowledge is critical. Number two, fact check your work. Do not blindly believe what the AI says. And number three, go deeper and deeper. Let's talk a little bit about the research capabilities of the bot. Each bot was a little different. ChatGPT was great for organizing chaos, writing scripts, and structuring results. Grok surfaced trending names based on Twitter, based on the buzz. Perplexity was excellent for real-time citations, funding updates, and founder data. Claude gave us TechCrunch-style results with funding, valuation, and strategy. No bot gave us everything, but combining all gave us a list that we could work with. So, what did we learn? Number one, AI tools don't agree. They're trained on different data, and their logic isn't transparent. Number two, ChatGPT excelled at organizing chaos from messy results to creating a podcast-ready script. It was my star planner. Number three, perplexity stood out for real-time research. It helped cross-verify funding rounds and spot recent updates. Number four, using multiple tools was better for cross-checking. No one tool got it all right, but together they helped us fact check. Number five, if this were an academic research project, we would need more rigor. For interviews, though, this gave us a solid starting point. Number six, many many big names were missed out. Number seven, no bot told us why they picked each name. We got results, not reasoning. A big big gap in transparency. So there you have it. AI basics, AI watch list of eight companies, research, short list, and scripted all in one day. If I had to pick a winner, maybe it was perplexity as a researcher because I already knew most of the names. But that's pure bias. But here's the real takeaway: AI didn't replace research; it supercharged. And now a question for you: Do you think there are more Indian AI companies that none of the bots picked that should have been on the list?